Okay. All right. So um, we're going to close this out and bring it back to the board. Um, I'm going to start by saying that um, it has been a long day. Um, and I'm speaking to this uh, to this applicant, uh, Mr. Boyd, and your team. Um, I do think you've done a tremendous amount of work on this, uh, holding public meetings, as Commissioner Campione has said. Um, we've never seen 150-foot buffers. Um, I understand the concepts that you're um, that you have uh, within the plan. Um, I do support the connectivity, the trails. Um, that's all. That is well in this way, and that is something unique. Most developers don't do that. Um, and if if only everybody would do that uh, through the rest of Lake County, I, we would be a, a lot better off. Um, I have promised the you and the, the those that are here to speak, and some have already left, that we would go line by line through the ordinance because I do believe that it's it's very important. So I'm I'm into you know going through those details, but uh, I would propose that uh, that it, at this point. Um, it would be tabled. We would come back on the 28th uh, to be able to hear you uh, first thing in the morning. Um, and this is unless I get opposition from my fellow commissioners on that. Um, we would come back on the 28th. It would not be a public, uh, there would be no public comment. We would basically be just at that point rendering a decision. We would have the ordinance um, played up, you know, up on the screen for everybody to see that wanted to come see it. Um, but, but at this point, um, that's what I'm proposing, unless I hear differently from the commission. Uh, I'd just like to state that if you philosophically, I don't understand how this is part of Wellness Way if it doesn't connect to it. You know, if, if, if Wellness Way is all south of this, right, pretty much. And, and I understand and I appreciate, you know, that they're listening to the community and they didn't want a connection and so they severed the connection. But we spent an hour and a half this morning talking about a development that had no other way out, and now it's impacting the other developments. I, I think we're kind of setting us up, ourselves up for, you know, a problem down the line. If, if we, we want, we need connectivity. We need cars to be able to get get places. And and if there's a, another solution out there, a plan C, then, then I would say we'd look at it. So your issue is the connectivity, particularly on the southern. And, and the density the as well. I mean, I think the density caused the, the, the reason that the residents didn't want the connectivity. So, you know, it seems like we can, we can figure something out. I, I don't have the answer, but. Yeah, and I think there's some, probably some history, maybe um, if this is what we do, um, that you could work with staff on um, how, at one point, I believe it was all connected, but obviously people have, they can volunteer to pull out of Wellness Way, and they did at that time. Um, there's a lot of history that goes back to 2010 on this. A lot of public hearings. A lot of people were contacted, do you want to be a part of this, do you not want to be a part of it? So uh, there's probably some, maybe some history and fairness to you that you could get with staff on that uh, as well. Um, but, but if you have a, 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 a geographic area that's part of a greater geographic area and you can't drive to it, but driving up and around, it seems a little strange to me. I think that just geographically where the property is located it, it just it doesn't quite fit the way all the other parcels would fit it's just on the you know periphery here um, so it's it's hard to it's hard to have that connectivity whereas I think you're not going to see that on other you know, so, so are we are, are we putting a round peg into a square hole are we trying to make you know something that well the alternative would be that you'd have to do a completely different comp plan designation because it got put in and it's there um, so we either we, we either try to work with it to make it fit or you have to do a completely different comp plan amendment and what does that get you because the only way the only place it would get you would be basically the same project but just not part of wellness way well except wellness way had some more criteria on it like densities and well, I think that's the key. And so everybody knows, I mean, if they did something differently, they would not be held to the standard that Wellness Way has. For instance, they were going to be required to have 100% of their homes be Water Star certified. And they have to, they can't use potable water for re for, uh, for irrigation. It's a pretty tough bar to meet, pretty tough standard to meet. We can argue I've actually done some calculations that their property would use less water than if you were to go with the current 
uh, development, development scenario. So these are just things to think about. Higher level standard, if they did go out and pull out and decide to do something different, this was turned down or whatever, somebody could come along and not have the same standard as well. So that's the, that's the conundrum. Chair, sure. can I go ahead and uh, <clears throat> make the motion to table this until September 28th? Okay, so you'll make the motion to table to the 28th uh, time certain. We will address that first thing after consent agenda. Before we get a second on that, can I, I'd, I'd prefer to defer to the applicant on whether they're comfortable tabling in the first place. I'm, I'm comfortable making a motion for approval. I'm comfortable with it, but I will tell you over the next couple of weeks, Mr. Uh, Helen B or whatever his name is that's in the back with a social media outfit will be all over all of us for the next couple of weeks. So I'm fine with that, and we're good. I'm, and I, I'm happy to go to the 28th, but I just, I'm just letting you know. I don't know if any of you have been witnessing any of what's been going on with some of that, but um, I think it's something to at least pay attention to. But we are fine going and, to the 28th. I just want to say it's really unfortunate that things have gotten to that point. Well, this I, is a we're new trying, tool, I what understand. What we're trying to do is, is work on, on something here that... Um, I just, I just would ask that whoever's involved in all the social media stuff would just lay off a little bit. And, uh, and if it's, from what I understand, it's getting extremely personal and ugly. And I don't, I don't know why it has to be that way. I guess that's the world we live in today. Um, but, you know, it, it doesn't have to be that way. It really doesn't. And when, you know, I know that when we sit up here and we listen to people come and give us their comments, we're much more apt to listen when everyone's being reasonable and, and actually respecting each other's points of view and, and trying to have empathy for each other. And that's how we reach, you know, resolution on things like that. No, I agree. And I'm, and I'm fine with the 28th. I'm just, I, all I'm doing is just giving you an observation that I've witnessed for a month and, and none of you have probably have had it happen to you yet, but um, yes. Well, I have one property owner that does not want a table, but um, since I'm one of the majority owners, Dane. Well, I understand where you all are, commissioners. I've been there. I've sat in those seats. I know what you're having to work through, and I'm fine with it. Without me, both of those parcels don't have anything, so I'm good with tabling it. I'm just telling you for the next couple of weeks, we'll probably be an onslaught of, of God knows what. So, I, but I'm fine with that. Why well, I never joined Facebook. Yeah. Oh, and, and I will, I will say. Well, that's that, a good thing. So they can't like influence you. Yeah. Being, and being as careful as I can, I will just reiterate what Commissioner Campione said. And um, if you're trying to win opinions and express your viewpoint by being negative and personal, that tends to have the opposite effect. So, I agree with you. Um, and that's why I said when I, when I asked everybody to speak, uh, issues only person, to keep the person out of it. Um, yeah. Mr. Chairman, just to jump in here, if you do choose to table it until the 28th, that will be essentially a blackout period for you. You will not be able to have any communications with any member of the public, the applicant, or Mr. Spain or his client. So I don't know what you know, relevance Facebook would have at that point because you will be taking no more public comment when you come back. It will come back only for board deliberations. And how would that relate to emails, receiving emails? If you receive emails, you just need to forward them to Tim to put in the file, but you would not be able to respond to those emails. What about us conferring with staff to, to get, gather information? You can certainly confer with the staff, but at the point that you have closed the public hearing, when you come back for board deliberations, if you've had any communications with the public or the applicants, you would have to disclose that, and then you would have to allow public comment again. So you can certainly talk with your staff if there's suggestions or information that you need when you come back. But as far as um, public comment or discussions with outside um, individuals, you would not be able to do that. Okay. So the message on that, if we move forward with this, then it would be no discussion with uh, applicant, opposition, public. We would come back. All emails are not uh, would be forwarded to Tim uh, and to your office. Um, and yeah. then we, we come in. We are, we are essentially sequestered, just like a jury, on this issue.
I mean, I hate the bad analogy maybe, but somewhat close. Yes, you just don't have to stay in your house for two weeks. That's true. So That's okay with me, though, maybe. So, so do we need to give our concerns now, or, or, or um, doesn't it matter? We can do it with staff. We, we can give our board discussion. We can give our board concerns at our discussion period right on the 28th. Correct. When you, if you table it um, till the 28th, when you come back that day, it is strictly your discussion. Members of the public can attend like they would normally, but you would be taking no more input from them. Okay. And the reason why I'm doing this is I'd like to make the best decisions we can. And when you've been in the seat since 9 o'clock this morning, uh, it's just difficult to keep wrap your head around I mean, I got a bunch of notes that I've got to really think about, and so that's the reason why I've, I would like it. And again, I'll, uh, in support of that comment, you know, I was intending to go through the ordinance line by line. So, I, I mean, that was another hour probably to do that. So I, I get what you're saying. Um, and I know we've all been taking a lot of notes, so I, I agree. I, I'm extremely tired myself. Um, it's been a long day. Um, so I, I think we would be in a better position to make better judgments and um, if we're fresh. All right. Second. Is that a second? That's a second. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, any final discussion on that? Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Okay. All right. So thank you very much.